My name is Samantha Medeiros and I am a sous chef. Throughout my entire career in the industry, there were definitely times that I felt anxious. Um, and it wasn't until COVID hit that I realized how particular my brain worked. I felt very anxious all the time. I felt very on edge and I felt like I needed to keep myself busy by setting alarms, by writing lists, just so I could feel like I was accomplished in the same way that I would when I finished a day of work. So when COVID hit and I was spending a lot of time at home, that loss of control contributed to a lot more feelings of anxiety. And I realized how unstable my mental health was and how this industry really like provoked some of those feelings. A common misconception of having a struggle with your mental health is that it's always in your head. Um, when I'm having a bad day, my body feels sore. I'm almost exhausted even though I just started my day and I'm unable to kind of slow it down. But then I'm also not moving as fast as my brain is running. And I feel like I'm forgetting things in my mind and I, I'm kind of like frantically running around. I like walk into a room and say, why did I come here? And it's because I can't align what's going on in my head and where I need to go to get that job done. So at the beginning of my journey, I had a little consultation. By the end of that call, I was diagnosed with general anxiety disorder and obsessive compulsive personality disorder. And it was quite a long time of constant paralyzing anxiety. Like it wasn't that I got diagnosed and suddenly all my problems went away. And it felt very frustrating to have known what was wrong and had been given the tools to get better, but somehow the space in between those two points was ever extending. And I couldn't figure out why it was so hard, once you know what the problem is, to get help for that problem. It was a huge realization to me that the more people I spoke to about what my struggles were, the more I realized how common they truly were. And I don't think I could have done it without knowing that I wasn't alone in this.